Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got this idea for a video, um, I'm gonna say like a few days ago after I posted that empties video. And as you guys know, I talked about this foundation, the It Cosmetics CC Cream, but when I was talking about this foundation, I also said that it was fighting for my number one spot for my all-time favorite foundation, and it was competing against the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation, and I thought it would be really fun to do a battle video. So I'm going to use both of these foundations, this one on this side, this one on the other side, and I'm going to figure out which one that I like better and which one takes the cake for my number one spot. I have a feeling this is gonna be kind of hard um, because I feel like these are pretty similar, but we are going to judge these with a few different categories, okay? So I'm going to have them win each category. Whatever one wins the most categories is the overall winner for best foundation. So those are the categories that we're gonna judge in. So first I'm going to apply my Milani Conceal and Perfect foundation and I'm gonna apply it on this side. I'm just using my daily moisturizer. It's the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Face Cream. So I'm gonna be using my Beauty Blender to apply because this is always what I use to apply foundations. I'm going to do about this much for one side of my face. So this one is extremely thick. Uh, very, very heavy coverage. It's definitely, like its name says, conceal and perfect. Like, I feel like it really conceals my skin. It's almost like a concealer type foundation, which I like. I like high coverage foundations, so this one has it going for him for sure. Put it under my eyes and on my eyelid. It kind of has a little bit of a perfumey scent. It's not over the top perfumey, but it definitely has kind of like a paint slash perfumey scent. Um, it's definitely a decent smell. It's not overly chemically and it's not overly like earthy. Um, it just kind of smells like perfume. The match to my skin is also really good, which is why I like both of these foundations so much. And I use O2, or no, O3 Light Beige. So let's go in with the It Cosmetics CC Plus Cream in Medium. And this one actually has SPF 50 in it and the other one doesn't. And I do really like foundations with SPF, so that's an extra point for this one. So this one, they're about the same consistency. They're both very thick consistencies, which is probably another reason why I like both of these so much. This one has a little bit more of a shine to it though. Like when you put the Milani one on your skin, it looks more matte. This one has a little bit more of like a shine to it. And this one smells um, more like, you know how like acne things smell, kind of like toners? This one smells more like kind of toner. This one is a lighter coverage, actually. This one is actually lighter in color than the Milani one. The Milani one is slightly darker. So I would say that this one is a little bit easier to blend out than this one because this one is so thick and kind of like heavy coverage. I feel like it's a little bit more difficult to blend out whereas this one kind of just blends a little bit easier. But it might just be because it's not quite as thick as the other one. The It Cosmetics one I feel like is more glowy. I feel like I have a little bit more of a glow to my skin. It looks a little bit healthier. This one is a little bit more on the matte side. For applyability, Milani or the It Cosmetics, I think I'm going to give it to It Cosmetics. I think it was a little bit easier to blend out, not by much, but because this one is so thick and kind of heavy coverage, I feel like it just didn't blend out quite as easy as this one did. Um, so I'm going to give applyability to the It Cosmetics. So now I'm gonna apply my concealer and my powder. I'm gonna use a translucent powder so I can really see how each foundation feels and lasts and looks on the skin. And for my concealer, I'm gonna use the ColorCorrect Cushion Wonder by Hard Candy. It's this really pretty salmon color. I'm just gonna put that under my eyes with this over the top. All right, guys, so I just finished applying my makeup. I did do fake eyelashes and all that because this is actually the only video I'm filming today. It's kind of a casual day. But I used the Revealed palette by Coastal Scents. This is a really nice palette. It's a cooler toned kind of natural palette. It kind of reminds me of like the Naked One palette or something like that. So I just did like a cooler toned eye. And then on my lips, I did, ugh. I did this Ofra lip color in Mocha. I'm pretty sure that this is Mocha on my lips. So I wrote down the winners of the next categories. So It Cosmetics won Appliability and Consistency. So that was It Cosmetics. So for coverage, the foundation with the best coverage for the amount of foundation that I used, I tried to use about the same amount of each foundation. Um, so the highest coverage would be Milani. 
This has impeccable coverage. You can literally cover so much with this foundation. Like I said, it's kind of like a concealer and a foundation in one. The coverage is high, very, very high. This isn't very far behind, but this is definitely the winner for coverage. Feeling on the skin. So how it feels on the skin. Okay, so the winner for this category was actually pretty easy and that surprised me because I didn't think that this would be a very easy category to judge, but the winner for the best feel on the skin and the one that just feels the most comfortable would be the IT Cosmetics CC Cream. This one felt instantly heavy and I could feel the heaviness of this a lot more than this, which really surprised me. I didn't think that I would be able to notice that much, but I think the coverage of this maybe just adds a little bit of weight to it and it just felt a little bit thicker and a little bit more like I could actually feel it on the skin just by like moving my face around. This one, I couldn't feel at all. So this one definitely won for how it feels on the skin. It just feels so much lighter than this one. So It Cosmetics CC Cream wins for the feel. Okay, next up is packaging. So this one was difficult. I really had to think this one through. So this one is a really, really nice packaging. It's a glass bottle. Glass bottles are always awesome. I love it when foundations come in glass bottles. And it also has a pump, which I feel like is kind of rare for drugstore foundations. Not so much anymore. I feel like it used to be more rare. I feel like foundations often come with pumps now, which is good. Um, but this is a really, really good quality for drugstore foundation. This one comes in like a little squeeze bottle, but it also has a little pump on the end. This was a really hard one, guys, but I picked IT Cosmetics CC Cream. And the reason I picked this one out is because since I've used up one of both of these foundations, I've actually used up two, I think, of these, one of these. Because this has like a squeeze tube, and I feel like um, because it has a pump on it, this kind of like vacuums all of the foundation out. So you can get like every single little tiny bit of foundation out of this bottle. And then if you still want to get more out, you can easily just cut it open and just get out any extra that you may have missed. And the other thing I like about this is that it's really easy to travel with. It's not going to break on you. It doesn't take up a lot of room in your, you know, travel bag. And I just think that this foundation packaging is awesome. And I'm surprised this doesn't come like foundations don't come in this packaging more often. Um, and I think it's just because we think we like this packaging a lot, but really like you can't get any of the extra foundation out of here. Like once it's gone, you can't break it. You can't cut it open. In that sense, like this isn't really that much better than this. And plus this takes up a lot of space. It's really, really heavy to travel with. So I have a little acrylic case like right on top of my makeup drawers and I can just slide it in like this. So it's kind of being stored this way. Whereas this, you know, you it just takes up a lot of space. I don't know. This is like really, really good packaging. I've never really thought it through this much until now, but I really do like this packaging. So, so the last two categories is lastability and how it looks on the skin. So I'm gonna do lastability obviously at the end of the day. So for a look on the skin, like how it looks on my skin, I'm going to do a winner for early in the day and then a winner for later in the day because I think it can vary. So for my just applied skin, I'm gonna have to go for, can you guys guess? It Cosmetics. The reason I pick It Cosmetics is because it doesn't look quite as heavy. This is great if you're looking for a super, super heavy coverage, but I like this, I think, overall because it's not far behind this as far as coverage goes, but it just looks a little bit lighter and a little bit less cakey for every day, and obviously I wear foundation for every day most of the time, not for like, high coverage HD events. So I like this better overall for day to day. It just looks a little bit lighter, a little bit less cakey, and I feel like it's easy to kind of layer up if you want to go darker, or not darker, <laughs> heavier coverage. And it's also easy to go lighter coverage if you want, you know, something just not quite so heavy. So they're really not that much different, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna let you guys know at the end of the day what the look on the skin is, and I'm also going to judge lastability. So we will see. I will let you guys know at the end of the day which one wins. Hey guys, so it is about 9.22, so I've had this foundation on since about, I think I put it on at about 12, so about like eight, nine hours, give or take, I don't know. Um, but I was actually at Walmart doing some shopping and I was looking in all the mirrors because I was trying to figure out which one looked better and I'm having a really hard time deciding, you guys. For some reason, they look exactly the same. There is literally no difference in how my skin looks on either side of my face nine hours later, like zero. <laughs> I don't know, so lastability 
and how they look at the end of the day, both a tie. And I really hate to do that. I really didn't want to do that. I really wanted to make sure that, you know, I was being honest with each step that I just can't pick. They look exactly the same. Maybe actually I'll ask Travis, hold on a second. If you had to pick, what side of my face looks better? Turn a little bit so I can see it. Okay, so I'm looking as closely as possible and I would have never ever <laughs> expected that they're two different foundations. Yeah, like if you had just said, hey, do I look weird or anything? I would have been like, no, looks the same. You literally can't tell the difference. Let me see the other side. I can't see a difference really. So last ability and my nightly check-in, the how it looks on the skin, I'm giving it a tie because it would be silly for me to pretend one looks better than the other because it really doesn't. So that is it for the check-in for tonight. And obviously those were the only two categories that I was looking for. So in the end of this review, It Cosmetics won Applyability, the feeling on the skin, and the look on the skin this morning. And then Milani won only one category and that was for coverage. So it looks like the It Cosmetics CC cream beats out Milani. Yay! But not by much, you guys, because honestly, Milani, the only reason this beat out Milani, I think, the most is because this is a really, really heavy coverage and this is better for every day. And because I wear foundations for everyday occasions, um, this is mostly, I think, the reason why, that it, why it won. Um, but really, they're really not that different, especially looking at it at the end of the day. But based on this whole little battle, this is the winner, It Cosmetics CC Cream. I knew I liked it for a reason, but like I said, if you're looking for something maybe a little bit cheaper because this is more expensive, this one is in very, very close second. So I hope you guys like this little battle video. Let me know if you want to see more of these in the future. Maybe I could do like battle of my top two favorite concealers or something like that. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope you guys have a fabulous day. Don't forget to subscribe. Also press the notifications button if you want to be notified of all my videos and also follow my other social media accounts. And I think that's it guys. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.